guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the season finale. We have a couple new teasers towards what's going to be happening in the episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we have some new photos which reveal something pretty damn big. Also, we have some news from Eric Wallace about how the season ends. So, let's go ahead and get into the first thing. Let's talk about Eric Wallace's tweet. So, Eric Wallace is the showrunner of The Flash currently right now, and you guys know ever since he took over as the showrunner, he's been implementing graphic novels. So, what is a graphic novel for most of you guys that maybe don't know or need a refresher? Basically, The Flash has a long season, right? Like nearly 20 episodes, this season's 18 episodes, and it's split into chunks. So normally you would have the first half of the season, which would be like, say, the first 10 episodes, if it was a 20 episode season, you'd have that as graphic novel number one. Then you would have the second graphic novel, which would be the back half of the season, for the last 10 episodes, or so, give or take. But obviously this season didn't actually turn out as maybe planned, or maybe they did plan it to be like this. However, you had the first three episodes, which weren't really a part of this season. They were wrapping up last season, obviously that wasn't on purpose. However, the rest of the season was on purpose, and we got... The first graphic novel went up till we had Speed Force Nora who was defeated and after that episode we had a three episode interlude is what Eric Wallace called it so those were basically filler episodes even though like the Cisco one was actually very good however that took away three episodes from the graphic novels and then graphic novel number two started with episode 15 and is now ending with episode 18 aka the season finale or the second part of the two part finale that is currently going on right now. So that last graphic novel is really short. Graphic novel number four is officially ending with this finale. So recently Eric put out a tweet teasing that maybe graphic novel number four might continue into next season. But no, with this tweet he has confirmed. He says, next Tuesday get ready for the Flash season eight finale, but also it's the end of graphic novel number four folks. And since it's Friday, here's the chapter's title a bit early to start your weekend, and he revealed that graphic novel number four is titled The Godspeed Imperative. So obviously that's in regards to the Godspeed war that is going on, and I think that's a pretty cool title, and I'm not surprised that Godspeed's arc is officially ending with the finale. It seems like it's not something that's going to go on for a long time, because I think it would drag a little bit if they continued on to next season. Because otherwise, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be like fighting the same guy who just got revealed, and we're going to be fighting his clones consistently. So, it makes sense that it's done. However, four episodes was very short, and I don't know that they needed two of those episodes in the interlude. I think the Cisco one was very necessary. However, that's how it goes, and what are you going to do? But yeah, so Eric confirmed it. I wanted to include it in the video, so here it is. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. And are you excited for season 8 where we'll get the start of graphic novel number 5? I don't know if graphic novel number 5 officially starts with episode 1 because we know the first 5 episodes are going to be crossover episodes. But that's about it for now. Let's go ahead and talk about my other thing that I wanted to bring up. So this was just released the other day via the CW and so they released some exclusive photos for the Flash Season 7 finale. And this is huge because it just is photos of one scene, right? But this scene is no ordinary scene. It's a scene of Barry and Iris getting their wedding vows renewed. Like they are having a kind of mini wedding inside the West Allen family home. And so this is very interesting. It took me by surprise. When I first saw the photos, I was like, Okay, so I guess Barry and Iris get married again? Like, I swear they got married before. Obviously, their initial wedding got ruined, remember, in Crisis on Earth X. However, they did it again, and it got renewed, and basically they had, like, a mini wedding. But this time, everyone is there to celebrate the wedding. But I think it's a weird choice, like, completely out of nowhere. Like, they defeat Godspeed, and then they suddenly decide to have a wedding renewal like I don't know what the logistics and the logic is behind this 
However, it seems like they defeat Godspeed, and then maybe the kids are like, oh, we should do this, like you're supposed to renew your vows because, you know, not everyone was there in the first place and now we're here, we should do it. So maybe something like that is going on, but yeah, I'm a bit confused, I don't know about you guys, but nevertheless I'm looking forward to it because I do love the wedding stuff in regards to like Barry and Iris because that scene in Christ on Earth X where Kara sings running home to you before the wedding and before it goes ape shit. Like, that was so good. Like, I love these scenes, so I'm looking forward to this. I don't think I expect anything on the level of, like, Crisis on Earth X. Nothing crazy is going to happen. It's just going to be, like, an endearing scene for all of us who are fans of the show. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and break down some of these photos. So the first photo here is of Barry and Iris, and so they stand looking at each other. Cisco is kind of, like... I guess you could call the initiator, I forgot what the technical term is, but someone who is like the witness and is like, do you take Iris as your lawfully wedded wife, blah blah blah, right? That is what he is doing right there, and so he's fully suited up in this like fancy outfit, and it's pretty cool that Cisco is involved, and I think it's quite fitting actually, because it is his like official final episode before he officially goes. And also on the left, we have Nora, and so she's just in like her normal get up, well, like casual get up. And like Bart is looking really smart on the far right of the screen. And you can see like next to the curtains, they've created some sort of like pole, and like it looks like something you would see at a wedding. So they've actually put some thought into it. Maybe Barry's just like speed done it, so it was really quick. However, yeah. I don't know what is going on and what actually causes this, but it's cool, I guess. Like, I mean, I've said that a couple of times, but it is. Okay, let's move on to the next photo before we get caught up on that. So, we have everyone here. It's just from a slightly different angle. It is in the West Allen family home. And so, Barry and I are smiling and everyone's smiling. Seems like someone is maybe doing a speech or someone's turned up. So, in this next photo, it does actually look like Joe is probably doing a speech and talking. He looks very sleek with his hat on. I think he looks really cool. Cecile is all dressed up. They have like a bunch of big candles. And, you know, it looks very nice and very inviting. And so we go back to that same angle and we got Barry and Iris talking again as they initiate their renewals of their vows together. And so I think the idea is behind the kids being there is like they're the best man and everything to their parents. And I think it's pretty cool and like Nora is freaking out she's like oh it's so cute you can see it in the scene where they're kissing and I know a lot of West Allen fans are gonna be very excited over this scene because it's something that we haven't seen much and I'm thinking maybe the wedding renewal vows is because of what they've been through recently like Iris has been away for such a long time and she was ill but it turned out to be something bigger than that and then also the mirror verse like a lot of stuff happened to Iris specifically this year and they've had a lot of time away from each other so maybe it's just like a feeling that they had to do this. Okay so we have another photo and we've got Caitlyn on the left you can slightly see her but we have Jay and Joan here who are officially confirmed to be on Earth Prime which is interesting lots of people have brought up why this doesn't make sense. I think it's just a plot hole that they are overlooking because I don't know if they think it's absolutely necessary to properly explain it. They can just say, oh, Jay's a speedster. Yes, he barely had any speed, but maybe he gained enough speed to get them to Earth Prime or something. And so, yeah, we just have another iteration of the photo. So there's just a lot of different angles of what's going on in the West Allen house. We have Chester and Allegra here seems like they might be like going together that would be interesting but i don't know if that is 100 percent official or not but it seems like they've been trying to force that to happen like over the last couple of weeks so we'll see if that actually goes on but we have a close-up of barry and iris and they smile as you see cisco in the background and like i said earlier definitely there is some speeches going on and you know, all this smiling is just the West Allen family finally being happy and they've defeated Godspeed, they stopped the Godspeed war. Obviously, they have the help of the whole family and a very special guest 
who we'll see in the episode, and I'm not going to mention right now, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. And so everything's going to be fine, but obviously you'll have the big cliffhanger at the end, which should tease Season 8. That's how it normally goes. I don't know if there's going to be any differences this season, but we'll have to wait and see what Eric Wallace has got up his sleeve. So I'm looking forward to next season, hopefully it's a bit more normal, like we have a full graphic novel number 5 and 6, so it just continues on from where this last season ends. But for now, please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any daily videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen right here to watch my latest video, but I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.